Hey you and welcome back to Jojo. So if you haven't seen my video how to make your own mechanical keyboard, I recommend you actually go watch that instead. That's linked down below. Otherwise, if you just want to know how to solder, this is the video for you. All right, enjoy. Really simple to solder. Honestly, just make sure you get a good soldering iron. So go check out my links in the description after this video to go find really high quality soldering irons from my website. And now let me show you the master at work. Listen, before you start soldering, make sure you put some safety gloves on and also solder is really toxic. So make sure you actually put some glasses on because some solder spatter will hurt your eyes. And as well, the solder itself has these fluxes which are really bad for your health so and bad for your lungs. So make sure you do this outside or either have a fan blowing in your room so you don't smell it. Okay, let's solder. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is how people actually solder because some of you guys are just not soldering in a way that's comfortable for you. So how do you get comfortable soldering? Firstly, when you solder, you don't hover. You don't put your hands up like this. You actually put your elbow onto the table so that when you're soldering, it's nice and comfortable and it's not shaking like I've seen a lot of people do on YouTube. Once you're in a comfortable position with your hand, then you adjust where your part is or the keyboard and you just put it down and essentially you have the control of your hand now and you're not shaking all over the, the place. The next thing we're gonna do is turn on our soldering iron. So we're gonna set it to around 320 to 350 degrees. Now it depends on what you're doing, where you are, what the surrounding temperature is, but that temperature is quite decent for nearly every situation. Okay, so with your soldering iron, you might be asking, okay, Joe, but what type of tip do I need to use for my soldering iron? If you want me to recommend you something, you can get the knife tip, you can get a bevel tip, right? Which is just like a flat nose, and then also the chisel tip. And these three tips are really good for soldering anything that's through hole. But if you have like those conical tips, then don't worry, it will work as well. Okay, so before you even start to solder, what you need to do is check your soldering iron tip. You see how my tip is nice and shiny? If yours is not nice and shiny, what you wanna do is get like a brass ball, do not use stainless steel, and just clean the tip and make sure it's nice and shiny. If your tip will not go nice and shiny like this, it means it's very oxidized and you might need to get a new tip or Google some other tutorials, but essentially it's not, it's gonna be very hard to solder your mechanical keyboard. You're gonna have troubles. So once you know you got a good tip, you got a good soldering iron, now you can start to solder. Now I'm gonna put the camera down and face the keyboard and you can see exactly what I'm doing. What you're gonna do is bring your soldering iron to the pad and what you're gonna do is rest your soldering iron between the pin and the pad. You're not shaking, you're literally pressing on there with medium force. As you can see, that's a perfect soldering joint because look at it, it's just concave. It, you can still see the pin and it's nice and shiny and that's what you're looking for. This is how you want the pad to look like, not like this, which is a big fat blob. So in the same fashion, I'm putting it on to the pin and pad at the same time. Then I'm adding solder on the opposite side. And then as you can see, it's heating up letting go. That's four seconds in total to make a nice looking joint like that. And that's all you have to do. You can see those soldering joints are absolutely perfect. A concave mountain and you can still see the pin. That's exactly what you're aiming for. Make sure you're placing your soldering iron on the pin and the pad at the same time. It needs to have heat to suck up the solder. Otherwise it's gonna look bad and it's gonna go all bulgy and round or it won't even solder. And if it still doesn't work out, you can use something called flux or flux pen and that will help to suck up the solder a bit better. You essentially just dip it, dab it onto the soldering joint and it will suck it up so much better. And if you need any help, be sure to join my Discord down below after this video and I'll be happy to help you on soldering your mechanical keyboard. I'm pretty proud of my soldering today. Look at all those. Not one bulgy joint. Okay, so listen, you might get a dodgy or faulty switch on your mechanical keyboard after you've tested it. So I'm just gonna quickly show you now how to desolder the switches and you use a desoldering pump. It's extremely simple. So you get your desoldering pump, you prime the plunger, okay? So it's ready to suck out the solder. It uses air to suck it out. So then what you do is you get your soldering iron and you place it on there and then you press the button to release it and that will suck up the solder. Okay, now to desolder, you need to heat up your iron to around 380 to 400 degrees because it needs to be quite hot because you're using air to suck something out. And when you bring air to something hot, of course, it's going to cool down. So now to desolder the switch, you essentially put your soldering iron onto the joint and then you bring your desolder sucker on top and then suck it out. It's taken out the solder from the pin and then you can essentially remove the switch. My soldering iron there, 
and then suck. Now all you need to do is remove the switch and then you can replace it. Okay, that was also a very short tutorial on how to desolder the switches if they turn out to be bad or something's dodgy with them. So make sure you can watch the tutorial up there. I've got so many tutorials, so just be sure to check them out after the video if you're having any issues. Awesome, I can't believe you just made your own mechanical keyboard, nice job. Now what you're gonna have to do is like this video for me because I helped you out. And if you want, subscribe for more because I'll be helping you make your keyboard even better and feel free to share to some friends if they're making their own keyboard. All right, that's all from me. Yalla, bye.